The Wisconsin Dells region has grown exponentially over the past 35 years to become a year-round tourist mecca, becoming as much a part of the state as cheese curds and the Packers. The recent years of expansion, building new water parks and attractions can all be directly linked to the weather and everything that comes with it. Our own Kyle Pazorski explains the why and how it all happened. This is the Wisconsin Dells, and I'm here on what's not so necessarily a great summer day. The clouds are out, and there's some rain in the forecast. And while you might think that is bad for business, over the past 30 years, things have dramatically changed in the Dells region, going from a summer destination to a year-round one. It all started many years before the first water slide was brought to the Dells. Tourists would come here to check out ski shows, the famous ducks, and many other attractions which still call the region home to this day. But there is one downfall. These were mostly summer focused. A lot of businesses used to shut down at the end of the summer. And as we all know, Wisconsin's weather is not all sunshine year round. Enter a solution, the indoor water park. It doesn't matter the season. Brandon Schindler of the Wilderness Resort spoke to me about this shift, having worked at the wilderness for 26 years. I mean, back when I started, this was mo certainly more of a summer destination. It was starting to become a year round destination. There was an effort being made towards that. And it's definitely become that. Schindler explained while overlooking one of four indoor water parks at the wilderness, the different challenges they inherently face, creating the need for indoor facilities. Disney can operate year round outside. We don't have that ability. There's many months of the year where that's not an option. So we've had to provide indoor facilities to accommodate the folks that still want to come visit us when outdoor season isn't available. And that sentiment is matched by the folks at the Kalahari, Wisconsin's largest indoor water park. We're weatherproof. Carolyn Doro tells me the shift made to providing both indoor and outdoor has made expansion possible, helping contribute to the local economy all year round. Well, a day like today, we are open in the outdoor water park, but should the weather shift at any time, our talented leaders are prepared to keep our guests safe and keep the fun going. In the most recent years, the Visitors and Convention Bureau has kept track. The numbers continue to grow coming into the local economy. The winter of 2022 came just shy of $300 million spent by visitors, second only to summer at $550 million. In Wisconsin Dells, Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now.